So this is a tour of the Google Earth overlay that I've created uh, for people to visualize the northern extent of the Bell's Line of Road corridor and the M9 corridor. Now the first thing that you'll see is this splash screen that just lists the various sources that this data came from. And it's probably the first thing that you'll want to turn off. And down the left hand side you'll see a list of layers and the one that you want to deselect is called Title Graphic. Now what you'll see is a, a big messy spread of all of these layers and if you turn them all on at once it's not going to make much sense. That's just the default. And what we'll probably do is click the whole thing and deselect them all and then selectively re-enable them. Now the first thing that we should do is enable the two corridors. The purple one on the left is the Bell's Line of Road or Castle Ray Corridor and the one on the right in blue is the northern extent of the M9, uh, north of the M4. And that just shows the alignment matches. Now, these alignments have been done by hand, and where I've drawn in uh, lines, I've also done that by hand. So this is just a heads up that this map is not official. Uh, it's been hand drawn by me, and if the alignment is even slightly out, do not rely on, rely on this Google Earth overlay to uh, establish the impact on your property. There's just a small map uh, that shows uh, the northern extent of the two corridors. Now what's new and different are for example the two vegetation studies. Now this layer here is the National Parks and Wildlife Vegetation Study of um, this area uh, dated from 2002. Then we can turn that off and toggle it with the vegetation study contained in the draft environmental impact study for the Outer Sydney Orbital. And this is the useful exercise. If you toggle both of those layers on and off, you can compare the amount of vegetation reported in each study. Another set of layers draw from the more detailed maps in the Outer Sydney Orbital uh, brochure and show the boundaries of individual properties that are affected. Now, again, this alignment was done by hand so that everything lines up, but please don't rely on it. Now, what's even more interesting is these list of uh, overlays that relate to the alternatives. Now, here is the version of the M9 if, for example, it just terminated at Windsor Road instead of when going all the way through. Here is a possible alignment along the South Creek floodplain. This is not an official map. This is me just drawing a line along the floodplain to suggest what might it, it might look like if the M9 uh, crossed uh, downstream of Windsor and connected to the Putty Road. You can see I've made a mistake there. I've crossed over South Creek twice and there was probably a way of going around that. This green line here represents the extension corridor of the Northwest Rail Link. The Northwest Rail Link currently comes up to Rouse Hill here, hangs a left, goes down Schofields Road and terminates at the stabling yards at Kunchagong Road here. However, that corridor will eventually go all the way down through Marsden Park and then track down south towards the new airport at Bagturis Creek. The process for reserving this corridor is already underway. And I put this here to suggest that instead of plunging the M9 north in the way that we see here, Instead, it could just curve round to the right and follow that existing corridor and you could triple barrel it. Use, your, use that corridor for commuter rail, heavy uh, freight rail and the road all in one go. Then there's this interesting map put out by a lobby group called Roads Australia, not a government group, and they came up with their own map for a suggested M9. It's much more north-south and uh, there is a version of this map on their website but not for Google Earth 
Uh, so I just thought I'd copy and paste that, all credit to them for their option. Lastly, what I thought I'd throw in is this map that shows the alignment of the original Castlereagh Corridor, what they call the 1951 alignment. That line there in yellow shows the path of the Castlereagh Corridor up as far as the river. And there you are.